Mr. Gopinathan at TCS has been elevated to the role of the Chief Executive Officer in February 2017. He was serving as the Chief Financial Officer since 2013. And of course, we know that in 2022, he was reappointed as the Managing Director and CEO for five more years. And now the latest information coming in that he's stepping down as Managing Director and CEO of TCS. He's going to step down from the company and he's going to pursue other interests is what we know. Managing Editor of ET Now, Nikunj Dalmia, joining us on the phone line to tell us more about uh, this uh, big development as far as TCS is concerned. Nikunj, uh, do help us understand uh, the significance of uh, this change of leadership at TCS. Uh, it is breaking news indeed, Vikram, because I think this is more like a bolt out of the blue. TCS has done wonderfully well under Rajesh's Gopinathan. I've had several interactions with him. And every time, you know, you met him, you pretty much have got a sense that TCS is, there is a reason why TCS has a commanding market share and it is a market leader, both in terms of growth and margin. But remember, Raj, TCS has, the, the previous migration, what we saw in change of leadership was Chandra when he made a way for Rajesh. But that was more like not a planned migration. That was more like a full forced migration because Chandra went on to become the chairman of uh, Tata Sons. Before that, the the, the baton was passed from Mr. Ramadurai to TCA to Chandra, and that was a planned migration. The fact that Rajesh Gopinathan has decided to call it quits or has decided to pursue other things which we don't have details of. In middle of a tenure, at a time when TCS is firing full cylinders and they are leading the industry growth, comes that bit of a surprise. Markets do enjoy a certain degree of comfort with the Rajesh because he's, in a sense, managed to muster TCS in tough times, especially during the COVID times. His whole strategy of taking TCS cloud uh, uh, you know, cloud uh, platform forward, in a sense, is something which markets have appreciated. Now, since this appears more like a choice which Rajesh has decided to move on, the question is that why were Tata's and why were Tata's not able to uh, stop him? What is that other interest which he's pursuing? And what really would be the immediate impact of that? The successor, what TCS has released, the gentleman who will take over from Rajesh is is someone whom I have personally not interacted with. So the question is that why is that you've got the BFSI vertical head who suddenly takes over here? Because last time when Rajesh took over, Rajesh was well-groomed in that job before Chandra quit as the CFO, and then he automatically took over. So there are not question marks, but there is curiosity that why is Rajesh quit? The gentleman who's taking over, what role will he be able to play? And will he be able to really fill in the shoes of Rajesh Gopinathan? Because I think Rajesh, in a sense, has really uh, steered India's biggest IT company to new heights under his leadership. Nikun, do you expect a significant impact of uh, this uh, news on the stock come uh, opening tomorrow on TCS counter? I expect that, Vikram. Now, it's difficult to quantify what but I guess I expect it. And I'm taking a leap from what's happened to Infosys. If you really look at Infosys, the stock is not far away from its 50 to week high, and that's largely because of two key exits which have happened. Now, Rajesh's exit has come as a, as a big surprise because I don't think, frankly, there were any growth issues with TCS. The margins are best in the industry. So it just makes you curious that at a time when TCS is gaining market share, has got a commanding market share. It is Tata's, uh, you know, cash cow and the most profitable IT company in India and the most profitable company for Tata's, uh, Tata Group per se. Why is there a change of guard? Uh, you know, Tech Mahindra was suffering, so there was a change of guard there. Vipro has their own challenges, so there was a change of guard there. Infosys has series of succession planning. But Tata's are known for planned succession, Vikram. They are not known... Their CEOs normally plan their tenure, complete their tenure, and the successor is placed in. So why and how is something which I guess uh, markets will be really mulling over and they would be speculating over tomorrow.